Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we fix a problem. Now this problem has been solved in the past by myself, and that is the draw problem. The draw on the right stopped working. I think it was overloaded, a lot of dust got in there, I had to replace the rails. And inevitably, the left hand draw failed too. So that is the problem that we need to solve. Now, if you are in need of a website, well it's your lucky day because the sponsor of today's exciting episode is Squarespace once again. Now the reason I recommend Squarespace I'll go into it a bit more later, but the reason I recommend it is because Jess and I used it to build our website. So if you need some kind of online presence, whether it's a website or something else, try out Squarespace. We'll talk a bit more about that in the episode. For now, let's look at the plans. Uh, this one is going to be similar to the previous draw in that we're going to have side access. So the last draw worked really well. I'm super happy with how the sustainers fit from the side. I've got that side access for the SIS1 containers. The difference on this one is we're going to put SIS2 containers in the side. One, two, three SIS2 containers. That will allow me to put like routers and drills, that kind of thing, in the bottom. And then at the top, you can fit a SIS3 container. And that's slightly deeper. So there you have it. Half top down, half side access. Draw! It's like a kind of strange color. I ordered it from Plytech at lockdown last year because around about the lockdown time I thought I'd be able to come here, build some stuff to keep myself busy, but this place was all locked up. The ply's been sitting here ever since. So that's what I'm going to build the drawers out of. So this is why I use the track saw because uh, our job site table saws tend to do this. The top is fine because the blade teeth were kind of going down like that. They pull down the veneer rather than pulling up the veneer and snapping it off like that. That is the main reason we use the track saw but to be honest that's a rough blade that we have on there. It's probably overdue for a change. Um, with a sharp blade and enough teeth on that blade, you could probably get a clean finish, even with a job site saw. But I'm gonna keep using the track saw. Using the Hikoki router, I've had this for quite a while now. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, if you're interested, I might do a review on it. Uh, but at this stage, it's a lot like the Makita, with some differences that Gaston pointed out in one of our videos together. You can check that out here or there or in the description. Let's see how this rebate thing is going to work. Because the rebates is what's going to make this draw stronger than the last draw. So that's the rebate that I want, roughly. But I don't want that. So we have this Shinwa saw guide here. It's basically for circular saws. It has another part that goes onto the circular saw and then it allows your saw to glide along here like a track saw. But what I'm going to try and do is use it as my router guide.
problem with this drawer. If you look at this here, uh, all I've done is I've butt that ply into that ply and glued it and screwed it, but it's only butt in. So what happened is, this is quite a big drawer. So you pull it out with this, but then when you want to get to the back, you tend to grab whatever you can to pull it out further. The constant pulling of this broke the divider. I've relied on butt joints when I should have checked it in. And that's what we're doing here. Time to install it. I think it's all glued together nicely. Screw together. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> all right. Now let's talk about Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build your online presence and run your business. Now I pride myself in the quality of the work that I do. That's why I'm spending so much time on a drawer. Uh, but the best way to showcase the actual jobs that we do is via our website. Now Squarespace make that easy for me. You've got portfolios, galleries, the images automatically scale to fit so it looks good on your phone or computer. And I'm able to connect my website to my social media accounts. I want this to match up with the other drawer. They also have heaps of resources for building a website and that is super helpful if you're a bit of a rookie like we were. So if you are keen to try out Squarespace, they offer a free trial so there's nothing to lose. Then when you are ready to launch your website out into the world, go to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring my channel and thank you for watching this episode that isn't quite finished yet. Let's install the drawer! Let's install the drawer! Every time I do this job, it's raining. <laughs> did the holes in the shelf first. So when I got to this stage, I didn't have to muck around. All I have to do is line the holes up. <sighs> Makes life easier, you know? And these little clamps here, they go up and down. And I got them from Bessie Clamps. I'll talk more a bit about them when I do the cabinets, which is the next job. They're like bench clamps for upper cabinets. But they work really well for what I'm doing here. Super handy. It's working beautifully. 
had to do a little tweaking. I screwed it on wrong in, in the first instance, but hey. Sys3 container, nicely in there. Sys2 container, nicely in here. You might be wondering what this little slot is for. Well, we were. I'll make like a little, you know, holder for it so it just slides in there nicely. But uh, it's good to have that somewhere handy when you open up. 40 volt battery, ready to go. I actually don't have enough containers. I've only got two of the threes. Just have to buy more. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked with this. This is awesome. Three Sys 3s, three Sys 2s, and I can go like this and get them without having to lift this up. Mission accomplished. Cut around there. Put some carpet on there. Thanks for watching this exciting episode and I'll see you in the next one. Believe it or not, this is all clean. I'm very excited. Hey look, it's got a drawer front. I mean, don't look too closely. It's not a 100% paint job, but hey. They look the same. See you in the next one.